Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. So today, it may not be necessary. Some people might think it's redundant, but I'm going to do it anyways. But this is going to be a post review on my oldest and my most favorite picture in my collection. This is actually what got me to buy diamond painting to like more than just a few that I did for family. And I'm kind of excited to show you guys this because I've never seen anybody else finish it. So tonight I'm. I'm going to give you the first review of God of Evanescence. Now, God of Evanescence is a original character that JoJo's art created for a book he was writing. Um, uh, unbeknownst to me, well, unbeknownst to me, apparently the character is supposed to be like a a representation of growth in spring and bringing anew and when I bought the picture I bought the picture because that's what the picture invoked in me and I liked the way it looked and so this year I decided to semi try to participate in spring flings hosted by diamond painting fanatics and Mermaid and Magics, hosted by Crafting with Shay, and I can't remember her co-host. Um, so I did this picture as part of those two events, even though in the end I really didn't care about winning anything. I just kind of enjoyed sharing my progress on it. Um, but even after finishing it, this is still one of my favorites. Uh, I think... It was rendered very well for it to be a square. Um, I do not remember the size right off the top of my head. The size of it is a 85 by 55 centimeters. It had 28 colors. And overall, I think it came out lovely. There's plenty of details in the trees, in the grass, in the the tiger character i think it's pretty um i purchased this kick back in the beginning of 2019 and i think it was discontinued sometime in mid 2020 i'm not 100 percent sure um between the years of uh the end of 19 and the middle of 21 I really didn't keep up with a whole lot. I had a lot going on with me personally. Um, but I know this was discontinued sometime around then. I really wish it had been in squares, but I still love the rendering that I got in it for rounds. Um, I did think about going in and changing out these greens for some uh, AB greens, but then I was like, I don't want to. I want to just leave it the way it is. I really like it. And so that's what I did. So if you have this picture, um, it is lovely to work on. It is a really fast working picture. There is, like, it's got confetti, but it's like blocky confetti ish. Um, there's more color blocking than there is confetti. Um, like, this section here is really confetti heavy. Uh, the, this part of the main is confetti heavy, but really like this section, this up here, this over here, this is all like blocky, blo uh, color blocking. Um, this stuff over here, it kind of looks like it would be confetti heavy, but it's not. It's kind of like line blocking most of it. And it was a lot of fun to work on. I enjoyed watching these lights come together. Um. And I worked on this picture in this direction. So, like, I was watching the picture come together this way. And, uh, I got to, I got to roughly this point right here in my work on it. And then I flipped it. And I started working on it in this direction. So, I got to watch the picture form to the middle. And it was a lot of fun. And I really liked it. Uh, I have no complaints with this kit. 
it was rendered very well. The drills were perfect. The glue had no issues even after so many years. Um, uh, really, I have nothing bad to say about it other than, and, and, and I have nothing extra special good to say about it. It was just a nice kit to work on. Uh, even this older kit from Diamond Art Club has a lot of quality to it. Uh, I did the the main thing the main issue I had with it was I did have a lot of weird shaped drills. Um, I did wind up with a lot of uh, weird round drill shapes, like they were too small, some were too big, some had like extra around them. But uh, I had no issues with the colors. I didn't run out of anything. I didn't have to try to dig through my spares or anything. I had enough of everything that they provided. So. If you've never seen this picture, if you're looking for this picture, if you have this picture, um, I hope you enjoy working on it as much as I have. I really wish I could see this in squares. And um, there's actually another version of this where it's based in nighttime, whereas this is based in daytime. And I kind of want to see the one based, I, I would like to see one based in the nighttime because I love blue, so I would love to see that. Uh, Maybe not necessarily by Diamond Art Club, maybe by another company that's up and coming. Give them give them something. But I think overall this is a fantastic picture. And I, I really have nothing else to say about it. This one will definitely be going on my wall eventually. So I hope everybody in, liked seeing this picture. Because I know it's one that I've never seen anybody else do a post review on or even unboxing of it. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at, and I'll see you later, y'all.